हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू मयूर प्रोग्रामिंग क्लब टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अनदर डेली रीड कोड प्रॉब्लम एंड द प्रॉब्लम्स नेम इज ट्रैपिंग रेन वाटर सो यू आर गिवन अ नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स अरे ओके रिप्रेजेंटिंग elevations in a map where width of each of these black bars is these are the elevations these black things okay and each or uh, width of each one of the, uh, them is one you have to compute how much water can be trapped after raining in this whole area okay so these black ones are the elevations of the area uh and uh, we have to tell after raining in this entire region uh, how much rain water can be trapped okay and width of each of these elevations uh, is one okay so if you take uh, you know for the very first example that is given to us uh, to understand a little bit more uh, how things are going on in the you know example so then you will observe that let me zoom in a little bit okay now it's fine so these blue ones are the ones uh, which uh, where you know regions where uh, water is there okay so you can easily check how much water is there so this is of height 2 this is of height 3 so this will be as you can see 1 1 uh, again because uh, you know the whole height uh, the whole water level was up to 2 and one was already occupied by this uh, elevation and this one is 2 this one is again 1 and this one as you can see it is also one so in uh, total there is 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 so 2 and 2 2 3 times will be 6 okay so in total 6 uh, amount of or units of water we can say that can be trapped between uh, this whole region okay uh basically what is happening here is this uh, you know this entire thing is acting just like a dam i mean uh, it is not allowing water to spill out okay so and uh, what is the height uh, you may ask the, of the dam let's say we consider this section only okay this section only so what is the height height is basically minimum firstly we will be checking uh, what is the maximum that we are getting from this direction okay maximum one is this one which is 3 3 units of elevation and what is the minimum uh, maximum from this side okay it is uh, we are talking about height of wo water level that will be there and uh, this is by the way 2 since it was the largest in this section in this section i am talking about or if you want we can i think clip it also yeah now you will be able to see more clearly so this height was 2 and this height was 3 so what was the what will be the height of water level okay height of water level will be minimum of 3 and 2 okay so a reservoir or kind of or dam kind of thing will be formed here and the water level will be of height 
टू ओके एंड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट ओनली द सिंगल रेक्टेंगल दैट इज दिस रेक्टेंगल वी नो दैट फॉर दिस सिंगल रेक्टेंगल वट विल बी द वॉटर लेवल ओके इट इज टू वट इज द हाइट ऑफ एलिवेशन इन दिस रेक्टेंगल इट इज इट कैन नॉट बी मोर देन टू ओके बिकॉज वॉटर लेवल इज एनी वेज टू सो टू माइनस दिस वन वॉज बाय द वे वन so 2 minus 1 so only one unit of water will be there so what we are essentially doing is we are considering each rectangle one by one and for each of these rectangles we want something uh, two things basically uh, what is the height uh, from left hand side uh, till this rectangle uh, of an elevation that is maximum okay so we are we are wanting left hand side left side max height okay till the rectangle so till the rectangle what is the maximum height of an elevation uh, if we talk about the first rectangle that is there this one so till uh, till this rectangle uh, the height is maximum from left hand side is 2 okay including height of this particular rectangle also uh, so this one is uh, smaller uh, so the maximum height is 2 and we want another thing which is that what is the height of maximum height from right hand side till this rectangle okay so we want another information that is right hand side maximum height okay including this rectangle okay so what is the value it is 3 okay so 3 now you are having these two values left left side maximum height and right side maximum height including the rectangle itself okay so these two values will determine the water level okay water level will be minimum of these two minimum of these two okay so it will be two water level will be two okay now what is this height of this rectangle cannot be higher than the water level because we are including uh, this rectangle in both of these variables right hand side maximum and left hand side maximum okay so what we will be doing is we will be taking the difference between the elevation if if at all this is at uh, if at all it is present in this particular rectangle and the water level okay so here uh, you know there was a elevation which was of uh, size 1 and your water level was 2 so how much water could have been trapped this was your water level and your elevation size was 1 okay in this single rectangle i am talking about this one okay so in total one unit of water will be trapped okay if we consider only this strip or this rectangle so we will consider each of these uh, rectangles one by one or each of these strips and we will keep forming the water level for that we uh, will be needing these two informations which can easily be found out by using two arrays uh, okay basically you can have left left side maximum height array uh, this can be an array and this can also be an array okay so i will show you how things are working out 
for uh, finding out these two variables uh, in the code other than that this is the whole logic that uh, you want to at a particular uh, stripe of rectangle uh, for example if we you know take this one uh, this particular one okay you are able to see that uh, water level is what here uh, it is 2 and there was no elevation so it was 0 so in total 2 um, units of water was trapped here so we are considering each of these stripes one by one and then finding out how much water could have been trapped by first of all finding out the water level at that stripe and then subtracting the elevation size at that stripe if it all uh, if at all it is present there okay uh, for example in this stripe uh, there, uh, there was no elevation but in this one there was one okay so this is the whole logic and let's see the implementation things will be more clear uh, to you in the implementation part so let me quickly no, copy the implementation there. Let's take this to the board itself. So this is the implementation. Uh, I think color coding is not applied. Now this should be applied. Yeah, let me zoom in a little bit. yeah i think it should be visible enough so this is the whole implementation first of all what we are doing is uh let me pick uh you know good color so that it will be visible more so red i think is good so you know this is the size of the whole array just storing the size for the sake of traversal since we will be requiring that okay so these are just linear traversals these are the variables that were i was talking about left side maximum and right side maximum okay so these are the two arrays that we are using basically what we are doing is uh, let's say your height array is given to you let's take the input also in the exam first example okay let's copy it here okay now it's fine so if you want to find out what is the left maximum array then it can be easily done first of all we will mark the indices okay now if you are at the very big uh, first index then there is no left index before it so we will take the value as it is height value and there is one height value before it which was zero by the way so we will take maximum of these two so it will be one then maximum of these two it will again be one A maximum of these two it will uh, now become two these two maximum will still be two it will still remain two till here and now it will change to three okay this is we are forming this left side maximum okay so if we are at this particular index then what is the height including uh, this particular index also what is the maximum height of elevation we have seen till now starting from the left hand side okay it is three okay so this is what we are finding out similar thing we will do for right hand side okay so after doing uh, this two you know traversals we will be populating our uh, arrays which is right side maximum and left side maximum once we are having access of the uh, these two so 
water table can be easily find out at any particular index okay water level can be easily find out so this is your water level at a particular index so then we will be visiting each stripe one by one so visiting each stripe of rectangle one by one and then finding out how much water level it will uh, how, mu how much amount of water it will contain so this is your water level and then you are just decrementing the elevation height if it is at all there okay elevation height so then you will be having the water that is contained in this particular stripe of rectangle and you will add it to the total water at last you will be returning the total water so this is how you will be solving the whole problem as far as time and space complexities are concerned time complexity wise is it will be order of size where size is the size of the given heights array okay and space complexity wise as you might have seen because of use of these two arrays uh, it have been opposed to order of size also so this much amount of extra space you are using to store these two variables okay so these will be the complexities this will be the approach and implementation uh, if you are still having any kind of doubts or any queries in general then you may uh, you know ask them in the comment section i hope this problem solving session and this solution walkthrough provided uh, some value or added some value to your dsa journey remember the only way to master dsa is consistent practice so until the uh, until next time keep practicing keep solving problems i will see you in the next video thank you for watching